In this video, we'll try to quickly understand what are the new updates in Clo 2024.1 updates and how you can implement those features. Hi everyone, my name is Vivek. I'm the founder of Learn3D Passion Platform. And in this video, let's quickly look into the, all the six major uh, updates that Clo has uh, kind of introduced, right? So the first feature is you can now change the space of the avatar. Second is you can generate few PBR materials. Uh, third is you can have this uh, graphic effect, right? There are some presets they have given. You can make it rusty. You can change the colors and all. Uh, avatar size editor. Now you can change the size of the avatars. Colorways improvements. So now they have given these proper. You can change all the properties. You can also link uh, the materials, okay? In different colorways. It's interesting, actually. And then uh, finally is automatic modular. I don't think so that work, but we'll, we'll look into it. Okay, what things work, what thing doesn't work, we'll look into it. And then there are some other features. These, these are minor improvements that they have done. So let's look into the six major features and then like you can read more from their website also. First feature uh, that we can talk about is AI Avatar Studio. This is the new uh, feature that Clo has introduced. Uh, I am trying it from the last two hours, it's not working for me, but basic idea is that you generate a face here, like you can generate a face and then like, can you see fail to generate a face, right? So if you click on generate a face, it will generate a face and then it will apply to a target image or you can also upload an image. Okay. Right now this is not working, but, uh, when I tried it yesterday, right, it was uh, working at that time, but the results were not at all great. So I can show you a better method of doing, achieving the same thing with a way much more better quality. Okay. So let me jump here and let me go to this free website called face swap. Okay. So this is, can you see, uh, this remaker, okay. Remaker.ai. So in this, you, uh, fail to generate face. Yeah. It's, it's not working. Uh, I tried generating the face. I uploading a face and then I thought, okay, I'll upload an image and I'll try to generate this still. Uh, it's not working uh, like this is just getting failed if this work I can show you the image but let's quickly go to uh, this okay so this is remaker.ai so in this you can upload your image okay any image that you want uh, and then you can set the target face that you can select or you can upload on your own also and then you will get a download image let me show you the quality of the image okay you will be impressed uh, so this is the quality of the image and wait Yes, and this is really good. Right? Can you see? Just just look at this. This is beautiful. So uh, the better I think the idea is to use uh, Remaker.ai rather than Clo because last time when I checked the results were not at all great. Okay, so first feature I don't like it much, but maybe they will improve. So first feature I don't like it. Let's talk about the next. Okay, so the second update they have done is a uh, PBR map generator, right? So you can generate few maps automatically. So we'll have a quick look into like what are the problems and uh, what are the interesting uh, applications of this uh, feature. Okay, so now, uh, so now you can look into, I've already applied some textures to this, okay? Uh, in the normal map, you can see, right? There is this icon here. There's a, this new icon here. Uh, which name it generate, right? So you can generate this map for this. Let's hit this and let's see what happens. So now you have generated the map. And if you double click on this, now you have this type of a structure. Now the problem with this is that, uh, you know, right? This is not the normal map for this fabric because it, it's a screen printed fabric, right? So you cannot generate the actual normal map with this. But I think this is very helpful in terms of if you apply graphics okay so let's try to apply a graphic and let's see is it helpful or not okay i'm going to reset this i'm going to go to the graphic tool and i'm going to apply a graphic let's go to the desktop let's apply this gap graphic okay and i'm going to click here and with four okay three all right so this is my graphic right now i can see uh, how can I generate the maps okay so again I go to the graphics now I can generate displacement opac let's create the opacity map because look this fabric that you see here 
let me quickly generate okay so now you can see right so if i can apply i can create a opacity map quickly so that would be an interesting feature let's try to do that before i i have to create an opacity map for this right so if i go to the opacity map i click on this ah that's a problem uh can you see uh so if i open the opacity map uh this is what it is generated uh, i don't like this because I think the reverse is true for my case, okay? A uh, means, uh, let me show you the real opacity map for this. So if I go to desktop, uh, this is my opacity map. So now can you see, right? This this was the map actually that I was looking for. So that's a problem. Uh, again, uh, second is maybe I can generate a displacement map, right? So let's click on this. So now it has generated a displacement map. Uh, if you go to the rendering, we can quickly see if this is working or not working. Okay, this is okay. Yeah, this is working. Uh, wait, let me quickly um, add a little bit of value to this. Yeah, this is working. So the displacement map is okay. Okay, this works. Uh, let's stop this. And uh, we can also have a normal map. Let's see if the normal map is working with this. Let's see. We can just open the normal. So again, it's it's reversed, right? Can you see? This is reversed. So again, to control this thing, I think they should have given some kind of oh, um, some kind of feature, right? I don't know. Uh, I don't know how in, like how useful it's going to be. So again, this has its own problem. But I think you can generate few maps with it, like few simple maps that you don't have to go. Uh, to the photo editing software and have to generate those maps. So this is about and look guys uh, when you are going to see the flow uh, webinar right you are going to see all the good things okay so I am just going to try and show you like because I am also trying to use it for the first time right so I am also trying to I am also realizing right now okay, what are the problems okay so this is the problem with uh, the PBR map generator okay which I feel that uh, it's kind of uh, not that great because you cannot make normal maps for fabric because that's a very separate thing okay you cannot also make uh, uh, suppose you want to have a lace fabric right so can you generate let's see uh, let's see like this is interesting so let's let's recheck this let's delete this okay Let, let's use the lace fabric also let's see if that works or not so suppose I go to the fabric I go to the main fabric and um, I apply a lace fabric here. Let's see that. Okay, so I have this uh, JPG mid. Let's open this. So now look, I have a lace fabric and I can just remove this color. Okay. Apply and close. So now this is my lace fabric. So can it remove the uh, the opacity? Okay, so let's go to the opacity map. And let's generate this. And now you can see the problem, right? Uh, that it has removed these black uh, areas, right? Which was the most important part. So I think that is one problem. So this is this is one of the problems. So I have shown you the lace fabric also. Uh, so that's another problem because I just wanted to get rid of the white zone, right? Uh, so. That's the second thing. Okay, so the next feature is graphic materials presets. Uh, in this link, basically you can add this uh, presets like crack, vintage, and foil. Okay, now this is uh, my file, and I have already added a graphic. Uh, now, the if you will look into the graphics, okay, there is this one main graphics that you can see. Like this is the graphic. Wait, yeah, this is the main graphic, right? And this is the opacity map that I applied. So this is the main. And this is the opacity map, so that I can remove the area that I don't want. Okay, but if I apply the cracks, okay, so I can here it, they have given a new feature, print type. Okay, so now in the new feature called print type, uh, let me just make the screen a little bigger for you. Yeah, so in this, uh, if you will see, they have given a new option like uh, cracks, uh, this vintage, and this is really nice. So if I apply the crack, now you will see that. 
this has added uh yeah this has added this new effect right crack which looks amazingly nice i i like this feature you can also add a uh, vintage right so this is also nice uh like uh, this is this is really good uh, i i like this feature the problem with this feature is this that even if i go here right uh to the opacity map uh my opacity map will be deleted so this is just an opacity map which you are able to see okay this crack and this vintage okay now if i try to apply okay let me just do control c uh if i try to apply my another uh map right open texture editor if i try to add one more map here uh which is this so it doesn't really work right something went wrong in this so oh, it should overlap and then i can basically i can use uh multiply right so i would have this uh both the effects together it's not working i don't know somehow for me uh but if i delete this uh if i delete this again right and i do this cancel and i do need the opacity map right now if i try to bring that map again like that will work okay so for example this is digital and if i bring my map again opacity map let's see this one now this is working so when i apply the crack and when i try to add the new uh, one more opacity map it somehow it, it creates issues that's the second thing so maybe it will get solved in but that's a problem okay so when you want to apply two opacity maps so it can have issues but again uh, these effects these are great uh, and uh, the other reason like you can do this is like you don't need to uh, put a opacity map you can just have a png image of this graphic okay uh, i just like to use that <laughs> i just like to use create uh, opacity map separately because i have a better control on this uh next feature is avatar site editor let's quickly jump into clo and see how does this work so uh the avatar site editor is like if you go to the avatar site editor then you can change these values okay like you can change this you can move it up you can move it down uh i have uh like you can basically you can draw some uh for example suppose uh uh this value right you need to have this abdomen uh kind of below the waist three inches below the waist right they can draw a line from the waist towards the abdomen and then you can move this line okay uh how helpful this is i think this is quite helpful uh in terms of because uh, while following some of the methodologies of pattern making i think i personally faced the issue that i want to change the measurement but still there are few uh, measurements that i really want to change that i cannot so right now these like all these black values that you see the dark black color i think these are the values that you can quickly change okay so this is a really nice and a uh, good feature i think uh, they should keep working on this and uh, this will, this is really going to help in pattern making a lot so uh really a good feature okay so the next uh, feature that is is uh, colorway improvements right so now uh, basically they have given you like three more uh, options okay material all properties and link editing so for example if you want to go to the production colorway let's go to the colorways quickly and now you can add like if you go to this add icon now you can have materials on the all properties and links so look like these are important because uh if a material is like by default like if you just want to change the material of like like if you just want to change components then uh that's okay but if you want to change the complete garment right so if, if you have three colorways and all are completely different so you need to choose all properties so there are few things that are linked with all the colorways for example graphics right then you used to uh, then you need to use links okay so choose add properties or link and then you can just add it and then you can start uh you can start creating the different kinds of color wave right so uh this this is a i think this is a really important feature and this is a really much needed feature that clo has introduced so i think and this really makes a lot more sense uh the next is automatic modular block uh uh assignment right so let's see how well this feature uh, works so i can quickly go to the garments i can open a file okay it, it, like if the file is simple it detects it right but let me show you like the problem okay 
you would have always seen into a modular like okay so you could you could you if you have your own patterns you can save it in the modular but right now what they have done is they have you can you just have a new feature that it will automatically assign things so if you go to file uh save as style now you have this group right so you can have like you can select the group or you can add a new group okay so i'll just use the group uh and maybe here is no so i'll just add a one more i can call in dress right okay <clears throat> I can go here and now it says that okay style right? you can add it style name uh, my dress whatever you can call it okay now you have this double click on this now you click on add now it says that okay front body back body like what you want okay so front body okay then you add one more and I'm going to do back body okay now uh, if you will see you have this uh, icon right auto modular uh, let me just uh, get the bigger size. Uh, okay, so now you have this uh, this feature here, right? This auto modular. So if you click on this, it will try to auto assign things. Okay, now can you see, right? It has uh, back and the front, but it has like, can you see it has missed uh, many parts, right? Because this is a dress, it's just front and back. Uh, there is nothing else here. Okay, so now it is missing a lot of more parts. So what you can do is you can edit this, right? And you can select it manually but again that this automation feature it works with what i wanted to show you this automation feature it works for like very regular kinds of garments right like a shirt or a t-shirt or a little bit more complex but simple pieces but it doesn't work for all the uh all the garments right so that's what i was trying to say uh but mainly i i think what what they are doing also is sometime because now <laughs> style 3d and others platforms are integrating AI into the system so they are also in the hurry of implementing uh, AI and everything I don't think so it's that cool uh, what they are trying to do I but I this will improve right as we go forward this will improve so maybe it's a good starting point but right now this is not much used for us uh, so again you have to manually select the front and the back and then you have to add it here and that's how um, that's going to be done so automatic modular block assist assignment I don't think so. I <laughs> thumbs down for the feature. Uh, color based improvement thumbs up. Great feature. Avatar size editor. Okay, going in the right direction. Uh, graphing material presets. Uh, good. I like this feature. PBR map generator. Okay, more important. Like it's it's it, I think it's more better for uh, logos than other things, right? For graphics, I think that's more important. AI avatar studio. No, not at all. Uh, maybe if it improves, but this is a very important feature. Maybe if they improve it uh, as we go future, this is going to be really helpful. But right now, one graphics, avatar, size, editor, color, improvement, these are three really important features that they have done. Below feature, these are very simple features. Okay, these are just basic improvements that are there. So nothing, nothing much interesting about it. So this was everything about uh, Glow uh, 2024 uh, first update, all right? And um, I hope you guys will try it on your own and uh, see like how it fits in your workflow, okay? Don't believe in me. I am also doing it for the first time. I just saw it yesterday and I just thought, okay, I'll just make a simple video, okay? So these were my observations. If there is something wrong in this, that's okay, okay? Uh, um, yeah, so they will be doing a webinar. You can check their webinar also. But I think uh, this is my take on Clo 3D uh, 2024.1 update. Let me know. Uh, if you have any comments, if I did something wrong, you can write it down. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye.